I met him yesterday at a supercharger and he lives out of his Tesla Model Y. So could you give us a tour of your little mobile home? Yeah, definitely. So um, this is Scotty. And of course the main thing is the, the kitchen area. And so I built a, just a single pull out drawer in the back and then two fold out shelves from that. And so in here I store an induction cooktop, um, knife set, cooking set, you know, coffee cups, plates, uh, collapsible sink, um, toaster oven, you know, all the basic stuff, pots and pans, all the kind of cooking stuff is in there. And then I have a um, fold up right here where I use the, um, the sub trunk for a refrigerator that um, it's only one temperature, but, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good amount of space and it fits perfectly underneath this to allow the drawer to slide closed and then access it with the drawer pulled out. Um, I keep a, a privacy shower or a privacy um, tent here. So I, if it's somewhere I can set up my uh, shower bag, then I can have that on the road. And um, in the side cubbies is just on this side is just like storage and you know zip ties and um, bungee cords and then and below that is just some tools and things and the opposite side is just like toiletries and um, like first aid kind of stuff and then um, the bedded is just a XPED uh, Mega Mat Duo or XPED yeah Mega Mat Duo and a 35 degree double sleeping bag um, for sleeping in that's really good for cold weather but um, I've had sheets before that I used to use instead of a sleeping bag because the sleeping bag is really bulky. Uh, in front of here, I found these awesome totes at Target. There's one there and then one in the front that takes up the passenger well that fits pretty perfectly and those are food storage. And then I also have some under cubbies uh, that I found that fit underneath the driver and passenger seat that I, I store just like occasional things that I need to get out. Um, behind the food storage and then also on top of it I have the heat shield uh, window coverings for sleeping for privacy and um, and then oh, I did see you notice you had some storage here oh yeah yeah I totally forgot about that yeah so in the front section so the, the back is two different sections um, and so in the front they're then they're attached together and so on this side I have like electronics like drones and camera and stuff like that and then, um, and then they have the hydraulic lift, and so they stay up, sort of, but then once you let the bed go down on it, they kind of close, so. But uh, the nice thing about it being a two-piece setup is that if I wanted to use the back seats for some reason, I can detach it and then put it on top of the rear section and then uh, fold the back seats back up. So it's a little bit of a process, but, um, but it can be done, so if like you had a dog or something and you wanted to have the back seat room for them or or passengers or something then you could have that but um yeah it's the same on the opposite side for the storage and that side is just like shoes and stuff can we see? and uh, yeah yeah definitely and then this is also where i have like my water storage just a five gallon jug and then yeah just like shoes in here and then you can also access the um the front part mm, of the trunk you have a lot of shoes, man. Yeah, well, like running shoes and then like one pair of waterproof and some sandals and stuff, so. But um, then I've got the, um, the Delta II is back behind the water and um, that's what I used to power everything. Oh, I see. I have a Delta II, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, and so that's, that's enough. Right now it's only, uh, it's only being powered by the uh, cigarette lighter adapter mm -hmm. and the Tesla. But I have a um, I have a hundred watt uh, solar panel that I'm going to epoxy in this flat space. In this, I just got the uh, 100 watt flexible panel up on the roof box. It fit almost perfectly in the center of the Yakima CBX uh, 16, I think it's called, and um, and then used epoxy to lay it down and then seal it to the roof box. Um, it still needs some time to cure, but it should be good enough for starting to drive. And um, yeah, and then so the wires come off on the back. And then I was originally thinking I would have to attach it somewhere here so that the flat cables can go through here. But when this is closed, I can actually tuck, let me close it real quick. With the roof box closed, 
I can tuck these wires just under here. And then the flat wires can go right there. And then this will be routed along the right side with the rest of the electrical over to the EcoFlow 2. And then once closed, then So yeah, so um, not like as seamless as having it, you know, permanently set up somewhere like on a van, but um, it's the best I can do without drilling holes or making new attachments or anything like that. And then I should be able to rely on the solar panel to recharge the EcoFlow 2 and without having to have it plugged into the car, unless I get like a series of cloudy days and then I always have the cigarette lighter adapter as backup. And, um, Oh yeah, so the frunk is just like uh, more camping stuff. So I have a, I think part of the problem with living in um, something that's not a big van, like living in a Tesla is that like it kind of feels cramped after a little while. And so I have this like 10 by 10 uh, bug screen shelter from Nemo. It's a, uh, and so it's really important up here in Alaska because mosquitoes are really bad in the summertime that you can set up and have this nice like big area that you can hang out in outside, but then not be bothered by the mosquitoes. I've also got a uh, five gallon shower bag. So it's all black. So when you fill it up, it'll heat up the water in the sun on a nice day. Uh, camping chair, a uh, two person tent. If I don't want to sleep in the car and it's nice weather, I can actually have a regular tent and then like a, um, a nice like ground blanket for the tent to make it more like more homely and comfortable. And um, yeah, and then the tote is just all more camping stuff. That just, it's kind of like occasional use stuff that I don't need in the car, but I do need on the road. And so like here's just a, you know, a water bladder for hiking, a little table for, you know, setting up in the screen shelter or in the tent, you know, a, uh, a 45 degree sleeping bag, you know, like a little um, small pack and tent stake driver. And, just all sorts of miscellaneous camping stuff, binoculars and, and everything else. And um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, could you show us what's up in there? Just uh... Oh, in the roof box? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the roof box is, um, is mostly, mostly like clothes and stuff, but it's also, so like here's the solar panel that's gonna go on the top of the roof box. But then like, here's my snowboard and then like a day pack for hiking um, some extra paper towels that I, you know, don't need until the other one's gone. And then just other, like, you know, these are all, these are all clothes. I really need to maybe thin that out, but, um, but there's like lots of bulky winter clothes and then also summer clothes. So, you know, it's just, uh, that's, that's kind of what I, what I wanted the, uh, roof box yeah. is so I could have like all season stuff always, um, ready on the go. So if I'm, you know, gonna hit the slopes, or if I'm going down to the beach somewhere, then I have everything I need. Sick. And yeah. um, where can people find you? Um, I'm only just on Instagram, okay. but it's uh, plant powered travel. Cool. Yeah. And uh, can I show you the plates? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have? Yeah. Um, so he's also vegan. Yeah. And I'm vegan. Yeah. When I saw that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> cool. and, um, so you live in Alaska, right? Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about your travels. Where are you going to? Because mm -hmm. uh, you're heading south too. Yeah. So I've been up in Alaska for the last ten years, and um, and then once I like once I retired, it was kind of like, well, I don't need to do the winter time in Alaska anymore, and so I was excited to be able to leave, and so I started flying a bit. And then eventually I realized that I was never home and I was paying a lot of money for, you know, mortgage and utilities and everything. And anyway, so everyone that I was meeting traveling was like, why don't you just go nomad? Why don't you just travel? Why don't you just, you know, try something else? And so I had built this, this setup actually uh, last summer just for like weekend camping. And then um, I kind of realized that with just a few modifications, like instead of it being a weekend thing, I could live in here. And, uh, and so that's, this is a recent development, um, only been uh, living in it a couple months and, um, and traveling. And so I'll be sometimes in the car and sometimes flying and staying in hostels, but uh, hostels can get very expensive in the States. 
Um, like in SoCal, for example, like 40, 50 bucks a night. So um, the car is a much better option for that. So, and it'll be nice too, because I'll be able to get to like all the in-between places and looking forward to going to lots of national parks. And uh, yeah, on Saturday, I'm headed down the Alcan. So this is like my last couple of days in Alaska. And, uh, and yeah, so I'll be, um, then I'll be kind of driving around the lower 48 and going all sorts of places there. So, Sick, man. yeah. Cause I, I just came up the Alcan and he's gonna go down here now. Um, yeah. Do you have any advice for somebody who's trying to look into this lifestyle and want to potentially start? Is there anything that you say? That um, you I think it's just like the best thing for me so far has just been keep a like keep a list of like what works and what doesn't and what you need. Like sort of like anytime you fly, right? Like when you get home, look inside your bag and see like what didn't I use at all this trip? And okay, did I really need to bring it or is it just extra stuff in my way? And so it's the same thing here where like I need to go through my clothes and be like, okay, what am I actually using? And then I can get rid of that and have space for something else. Or if I'm like, oh man, I didn't have, like I went to do laundry the other week and I didn't have detergent. And so I had to overpay for the, uh, the laundromat detergent. So, you know, just write that down so you don't forget. So when you go to the store, you know, it's those little things or, oh, I wish I had a can opener. Or I wish I had a, you know, a, a kettle or whatever it is. And then the next time you're, you know, ready to get something else, then you, know, you can get that, you know. Well, James, thank you so much for that advice. Um, I'll leave his socials down below in the description. And it's pretty cool. I met somebody randomly at the supercharger. I wasn't supercharging. <laughs> <laughs> I was recharging at the destination charger. Hmm. Um, and I was cooking lunch and he came by and he said he was living out of his car too. So I was like, that's pretty cool. It's the last place on earth I was expecting to find somebody yeah. in Alaska.